state of Georgia is taking new steps to protect you from having your tax refund stolen and trying to keep the state from being ripped off at the same time. Channel 2 investigative reporter Jody Fleischer is live in Midtown Atlanta with how those measures could affect you and your employer. Jody. Well, Wendy, the state is now requiring all employers to send in every W-2 by the end of this month. They used to have till the end of February to do that, and the state will not start processing your tax return until they get that information and verify it against what you sent in. Now, in years past, they used to just trust the information you sent in and go ahead and start processing your refund, increasing the chance for fraud. We want to make sure that not a single dollar goes out the door the, to a, someone that isn't entitled to it. Georgia Revenue Commissioner Lynn Riley says the latest changes are part of an ongoing effort to reduce tax fraud, which costs the state millions and individual taxpayers even more in money and headaches. Unfortunately, it's growing every day. The criminals know that a computer keyboard is now the new tool as a way to try to get somebody else's money away from them. The state will no longer pay a refund until the W-2 you submit is matched with the one from your employer to validate for accuracy and your identity. We've made a determination based on all of the fraudulent attempts that have occurred in recent years that we must verify the data that's presented to us on the return. She recommends adjusting your withholdings to make your refund smaller and less attractive to fraudsters and file early to beat them to it. You can also register online to be notified when a return is filed using your identity. In the event that it's not theirs, we can block it and protect them immediately. First time filers and anyone who hasn't filed in five years will have to get a paper check refund mailed to the address on their return. The state will also watch for too many returns at one address. Criminals tend to want a direct deposit so that they can move that money rapidly elsewhere and we'd have a hard time capturing it. Now, given that new earlier deadline, the state won't start processing any returns until after January 31st. They are really counting on all of those employers to get those W-2 forms in early. And you're counting on them, too, because any delay could delay your refund. Reporting live in Midtown Atlanta, Jody Fleischer, Channel 2 Action News.